Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. And today I have a very, very good topic for you. We're going to talk about the benefits of nootropics and how they work. I'm going to start doing a lot more nootropic videos. I've been getting a ton of requests. I've been testing out some of them a lot more than I had in the past, finding a lot of good things about them, learning a lot more about them. So we're going to kind of incorporate those into some more of the videos. Um, but I kind of want to give this overview. I, I gave you a full rundown before, but it was just kind of a quick rundown of them and just some quick knowledge on them. This will go into a little bit more detail and then we'll start breaking them down into each one and talking about it more often. But uh, before we get into that, just a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there watching and supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't yet, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any interaction with the channel, it helps the channel to grow. Also, today's video is sponsored by Let'sGetCheck.com. Now, Let'sGetCheck.com specializes in at-home blood testing. Go to the website, check out all of the variety of testings that they offer for men and women, full hormonal wellness. They have it all. Order whatever that you need. They're going to send you a kit in the mail. Once you get it, go online, register the kit, provide the sample, ship it back. You're going to get your results online. They do it pretty damn fast. They have doctors and nurses there all around the clock to answer any of your questions of your concerns. So check them out. Let's get check.com. Coupon code Jamelli30 is going to save you 30% off your entire order. So I'm excited about this one today. There's a lot of information here. I try to keep it in layman's terms as much as I can. I, I really do. There's just some terminology that just it is what it is. But I've done my best to come up with the, the, the easiest like breakdown for you to interpret because it's a lot of information and we want to kind of keep it as easy as possible. So let's just start off very quickly and kind of let me just tell you what a nootropic even is. So you're going to hear people call them smart pills and things like that. They're, they are there to support brain health and to improve your mental performance overall. Now, Way back when nootropics were first introduced, founded, created, however you want to put it, there was a criteria that, that was made for them. And it had six different features to it. So things that it had to do to be considered a nootropic. One was improving the capacity to learn and remember new information. It had to support brain health. It had to also protect brain cells. It had to facilitate processing and cell-to-cell -cell communication. It had to enhance your focus and attention. And it had to be safe to use regularly. Very, very minimal side effects. Something that you could continuously use. Now, to that definition, there was very few that even qualified. So as time's gone on, criteria's changed and been developed. And it's now it's termed any supplement that helps your brain in any way. So there's a long list, but you got to understand they're not all equal and they're not all going to follow under this benefit list that, that we're going to talk about more in the bodybuilding world. So amphetamines like Ritalin. That's considered a nootropic on that criteria, but we know we don't need to go use it, and it's got a lot of side effects. It's actually really should be considered a cognitive enhancer, not a nootropic, but that's it doesn't matter. That's highly debatable. Just understand they're not all equal, and there's some that definitely are not going to be ones that we're talking about taking. Um, so there's different groups of nootropics that we're going to um, go over here. So the first one to understand is the race tams. Now, Paracetam was one of the very, very, very first synthetic nootropics on the market, and it kind of, I don't know, paved the way for new race tams to come out. So it increases blood flow, and researchers do think that it's easier for cells to send and receive signals. Um, Eugroix, uh, wakefulness promoting drugs, they're going to improve your brain functioning, they're going to elevate your mood, they're going to probably reduce fatigue. Then we've got your herbs. Now, there's different kind of herbs out there that are considered nootropics, but some of these you can just go right to the vitamin store and get a lot of these you can. You don't have to just get on research sites to get them. So botanicals are really among the most popular nootropic ingredients. Two really good known ones are um, lion's mane mushroom. I use that and bacopa monieri. These are very common. You can find these. I do use the lion's mane mushroom. I just started it, but it does, you know, provide benefit. We'll get into those a little bit later on as I break them down. Adaptogens. They're going to help your body adapt to stresses, and they're going to stabilize the effect of stress on bodily processes. So that'd be like a ginseng. 
Then we have your essential vitamins and minerals. So your essential nutrients are really, really important for your biological processes. And that's brain function is one of them. So B vitamins, for instance, uh, they're really, really important for brain metabolism or energy and blood circulation. Then we got your phospholipids. So your phospholipids are kind of, they're, they're a type of fat that facilitates brain cell growth and repair. And that's going to be like your egg yolks, animal organs, sunflower seeds, soybeans. Now, choline. Now, I think a lot of you have probably heard of choline. Um, very, very beneficial. So what is it? The body uses it to make fat and it helps form the chemical that you've probably heard of called acetylcholine. So the brain is nearly 60% fat. So choline can actually possibly support brain repair and regeneration. Very, very beneficial. Uh, amino acids. So we've got N-acetyl, L-tyrosine, and L-theanine. These are two uh, aminos that can possibly mitigate brain burnout. They can promote relaxation. They can reduce stress. Creatine is another amino that can possibly have brain benefits. Um, but L-theanine, very, very popular. Um, now let's kind of break down how nootropics actually work. So a nootropic is going to actually enhance brain functioning. It's going to affect different types of brain pathways. So I'm going to give those to you. Sorry, I'm a little thirsty because I'm giving out so much info. Neurotransmitters. So what they're going to do, they're going to inhibit brain chemical breakdown. They're going to optimize the production and they're going to sharpen receptor sensitivity. We got brain blood flow. So that's blood vessel support, increased oxygen and nutrient delivery to your brain. Then we've got brain energy. So with that, we're going to improve your mitochondrial efficiency as well as your fuel delivery, then protection. So with that, we're going to have an increased resistance to stress and harmful compounds like free radicals. Then we've also got regeneration. So that's going to provide repair and it's going to maintain brain cells and it's going to promote brain uh, plasticity. Then we've got brain waves, and that's going to adjust frequencies and to help you achieve your desired cognitive state. And then we have skilled biohackers that combine various nootropics and simultaneously to enhance the effects. So basically, in layman's terms, it's a nootropic stack. Um, so stacking multiple nootropics, some go extremely well together, and I'm going to talk about that later as well. So let's talk about the benefits now. So the first primary, the increase in mental energy. The brain consumes like 20% of your body's energy. And what that does is put a pretty high demand on energy resources. Now, nootropics can actually optimize the way that your brain cells use energy and they can increase glucose and oxygen supplies. So that's going to have the brain then receiving more fuel and it's going to use it a heck of a lot more efficiently. And it can give your brain an energy boost without the use of a stimulant like caffeine, for example. So it's going to increase your alertness. It's going to give you quick thinking, mental agility, and you're not going to have any of the side effects that you're going to get more than likely by using stimulants or at least too much. Um, then we've got your improved concentration. I love this aspect of nootropics. I've really been getting a lot of this as I take them. So, you know, when you work, if you're studying it's going to require you a lot more mental endurance and it's not always easy to keep your focus but nootropics they actually can help you to enhance your ability to keep focus on a task and ignore uh things in your environment around you that could be bothering you take your attention and it can promote mental flexibility so that's switching between tasks like multitasking things it, very 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 important very beneficial but it does help to balance your mood you know, mood swings, we all have them, all right? They can affect you in a variety of ways. Quality of life, your memory, your overall performance. So some nootropic supplements seem to stabilize mood and reduce feelings of anxiety. So L-theanine, it, it can promote relaxed alertness. L-theanine, very popular. I'm definitely going to be doing a video on that before some of the others. It's very, very popular. Choline, L-theanine, we're going to get into all of that. So improved memory is another thing. Um, memory loss is generally associated with old age, but memory enhancing nootropics can actually improve your memory regardless of your age. Doesn't matter. 
Uh, some research says creatine can actually aid in short-term memory in healthy people. Uh, there was another study that uh, the Boca I, I talked about Bocapa monieri, and that could improve signaling in your hippocampus. And that's an area in your brain that's going to produce memories. Um, then, improve sleep quality. So, sleep deprivation is obviously a terrible thing. It can lead to poor concentration, bad memory, weight gain, increased risk of heart disease. So, what nootropics can possibly do is promote like restorative high quality sleep. They can also help to lower stress levels and they can do that in a variety of ways. And I, I've talked about that now throughout. Uh, they can have calming effects. So first and foremost, what it does is it can actually increase your body's resistance to stress. And it can really kind of replenish brain chemicals. It also promotes relaxation and it can Im improve perfor uh, your performance results and kind of give you less pressure. So natural or synthetic nootropic supplements can offer a ton of cognitive benefits. They really can. Improved brain health, just alone, think about that. That can enhance virtually every aspect of your life. I mean, it doesn't get any more important than you know, heart and brain health, right? So knowing the effect that nootropics can have on brain functioning or, you know, regeneration, helping to maintain more focus, helping to be more alert, there, there's a lot there. Now, we're going to break them down, like I said, and I'll start putting out videos on those, but I wanted to make sure we had this as a point of reference and a good starting point of, of learning overall. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.